the other thing was when um, Tantra was here, we had several discussions, uh, were very, very interesting. And one of the things she mentioned was that there were things happening that can totally relate to this, um, like situations, weird stuff happening in my life. In my particular case, like low frequency stuff or engagements um, happening that normally I would have, I'd be able to affect very quickly, very easily and resolve very quickly and very easily. And she mentioned that that's what was happening. And then she said, and then I figured it out. She said, it's because um, I'm no longer there. She said, therefore, to affect something, you have to be there. So I'm no longer there as in that frequency or dimension, the old paradigm. Therefore, I can no longer affect it, you know? So I thought, whoa, that's massive, you know, that explains a lot. And I was thinking a few days after, like I've been thinking about it, this, but that wouldn't that also mean then that it wouldn't affect us? And I'm like, but it does. It, those things affect me, you know, it's like I get angry or upset or sad. So they are affecting me. So what's, what's the deal? And, um, and when I, so I started looking at that for a few days, I've been looking at that. What I figured out is that, or what came to me in contemplation is that it only affects us if we have dragged stuff and people, situations with us into the new paradigm, into that intent to be high frequency, high frequency experiences here on this planet and express high frequency. So if we, if we have dragged things in with us, then those, it affects us through that. It's because we pulled it in with us. And that's why, I don't know if you felt this, but recently I felt it really strongly to release things, like even objects from the past, memories, uh, relationships, situations, work, um, all sorts of different items. And um, it's just a, like this drive to release them, right? So if you're getting that, release the stuff, right? I know it's really hard sometimes. And it, we've had, uh, last week, we, we chatted a little bit, uh, somebody who shared with us um, about her brother passing away and how she had this very strong intent to be in a high frequency when she was in the room with him. So she, it was in a genuine high frequency, not pretend, not like putting a smile on the sadness, but genuinely get into a high frequency before you enter the room. And she was very strict about it. She was very strict with her family about it too. And then she said it was like a gift because being so diligent, not allowing herself to indulge in the low frequency stuff, but forcing herself to get up there, genuinely being a high frequency, all day in day in day out day in day out had a massive effect and that's really telling i love that sharing because this is what it's about this new paradigm thing um the past couple of weeks i think it's a couple of weeks now i've i've um keep uh, been overcome by this wave of sadness and like um, grief you know and it comes and goes but it's like woof you know and I go whoa so and I was looking and looking and when I traced it it was all to do with past things like an object that was given to me by a person who betrayed me or um, like the, that's a really strong word isn't it betrayal and it's kind of victim but no it's like you know they turned <laughs> literally and uh, <clears throat> it's fine you know not engaging with them anymore but I still call the object because he had good memories you know it was a good time we were friends then and I go I really wanted to release that you know and it's like whoa release it and that little bit of sadness just goes away a little bit and then another thing uh, even clothes from past days back you know some of my favorite dresses and things like that. Um, well, some of them don't fit me anymore. <laughs> so I should get rid of them. But even the ones that still fit, um, 
they have situations and parties or whatever it is that I was on that I no longer resonate with. And I, it's a really good idea to, to release them. So, <clears throat> and extra stuff, like stuff that we keep even though we don't use. Uh, all objects carry frequencies and vibrations. So <clears throat> it's really important to, to look at that right now. Uh, that's how it came in. It, that's the, what I saw, those situations, those people, those um, items um, affecting us. Uh, even though we're no longer there, we're no longer in the old paradigm because our intent is strong to experience and to uh, transmit high frequency. Uh, Rami is trying to climb up on me. <laughs> And it's way too big. <laughs> You're not a lap dog, you silly boy. He wants to say hi. <clears throat> anyway, so um, some of those things, the perceiving them, especially as we are becoming stronger in our perception of the collective uh, consciousness. That means we are more connected to the rest of humanity and being diligent also to have that sense of uh, boundaries with regards to what frequencies, energies, thoughts we allow uh, to affect us or to um, enter or be and be amplified by our own field of awareness so yeah um has an awesome comment she says i have experienced that too both the low frequency thing and the general experience that i'm not in that world any longer so i can't engage with it i must let go of it completely yeah and that also I've, i i mean i've heard i've had people call me and friends and people email me saying that they're going through that Somebody said, you know, it's like I've built a really good uh, life with my business and everything, but now I'm not getting clients and I'm really kind of tired of this work, but it's how am I going to live? How am I going to survive? How am I going to do this? Uh, but all I want to do is just pack my bags and go. <laughs> but where? <laughs> just release everything. What? All right, come here. Come and say hi. Come here. Come and say hi. Yeah, you can come up. Come Let's lift you up. Let's see if you can say hi to everybody. Come on. All right. All right. Uh. Hi, Ra. Hi. <laughs> hi. There's an eye. You can hardly see his eyes <laughs> because of the fur. <laughs> Oh, you're such a cool puppy. Yes, you're such a cool puppy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, take time to play with your pets and smell the roses. Smell the smelly dog. <laughs> Actually, he had a bath two days ago, so he's still smelling quite good. <laughs> Um, so, okay, um, the discernment, it's good sometimes to allow ourselves just to feel into the world and the human collecting of this planet for a time and then discern and make choices about what we're willing to share and allow into our field of experience.